prático de Deus analysis and data analytics processes. Now, the beautiful thing about AI is that it has the capacity to teach, brainstorm, and generate data for data analysts. So if you're a data analyst out there and you're not using the Bing chat as an aid, as an assistant for your data analytics work and then you're losing behind. Now, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to use the Bing, the Bing chat for an assistant in your data analysis work. And so, first you need to turn on the chat end of Bing. Just go to www.bing.com on the new edge and move from the search bar to the chat bar and you would be on the beat. In this video I will show you how to do three things with the new Bing chat. One, I will teach you how to brainstorm with the Bing. Two, I will teach you how to generate sample data for your analysis. Three, I will teach you how to debug Python or R code say you have um, created a program and you want to see if this code will run or you run the code and it's giving you some challenges you want to check if um, what the errors are you want to debug the code to um, get out the errors and make it run all of that can be done with being chat now the big ai when turned on has three combustion style interface it has the creative it has the balance has the more for data analytics you will need to use the more conversation or the precise conversation that allows you to have precise um, interaction with the AI model so let's begin with a prompt this is the prompt bar I'm gonna begin with my first prompt okay, so my first prompt I say I want to carry out a descriptive data analytics on a chart history data extracted from a WhatsApp group. I wish to uh, use Excel and Tableau for the analysis. Teach me all I need to do, including metrics, formula, functions, TCL, and type of visualization. And that is a very specific prompt. Now, before you use any AI model for data analysis, you must um, have had prior knowledge of that data or that particular tool. If you don't know how to use Tableau, for example, and you left this from the um, answer the AI model would give you would be looking strange because you don't know how to use the tool. And so AI is just there to complement our knowledge and not to replace your knowledge so you must have known how to use excel and tablet before you could um, query or prompt the model in this direction now if that is okay with us you can just hit the bar and the model will begin to go out there now the bar has um there you go it is creating for me all i have asked for now you work with AI models by training them. This first prompt was a sort of um, training its mind towards what I intend to do. And that, now that he has answered um, the first prompt and it has told me how to export the file from Excel and all of that, now I want to ask a specific question. How do I collect data from the WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group. So I go there. That one is set up on WhatsApp group. Now since it is coming after my previous question, it has uh, a memory of where I'm driving to. And so it will continue to um, create response with reference to my first question. And so here it has um, told me how to extract data from a 
WhatsApp group as you go and open the group and um, go to more and export and use my email and send the, the data to myself. So I have that and copy that and go to practice. But I want more. I want to know if when I'm putting this data, what next do I do after um, getting the data? What's my next point of marketing? The data. How do I clean and analyze in Excel? Do I clean and analyze data in Excel? So it would go into its memory and pick up how to clean um, data extracted from a WhatsApp group. So it's, it's going to teach me all of that. That I'm putting the data into Excel, you could do various methods to clean and analyze the data, you could get rid of extra spaces, you select and treat all blank cells, convert numbers stored as text into strings, remove duplicate, can I light errors, and all of that. Now to ask more specific questions, how, how can I use hypot table, hypot table, That report is building upon previous prompt. It's building upon the previous prompt. So once I mention the data, it realizes that it is still that data I extracted from a WhatsApp group that I am referring to. I understand that discussing with an AI model, you need to do a connected conversation. You begin your first conversation by building the memory of the model and okay. this chat also gives me um, a video I could go and learn what I have just prompted if I don't know it ab initio. So if I know that already and I'll say okay I want to prompt it on something else. Um, what visuals what visualization will better represent this data and I go there and it's going to go down into the net into its memory into its uh, the data type of string with to um, generate for me the positive things I should need said I would need a bar chart to show the number of messages sent by each person and the line graph will show the number of messages sent over time I chat to show the stream of messages by sender by time of day. I need a word cloud to show the most frequent used words in the chat. Now, supposing I was going to do this for a client, I could ask further. I could say, uh, should uh, the client wishes, wishes to know what time Day, what time of the day does um, what time of the day does the group have more traction, more reactions, or more people, or more chats? We also ask the, the type. Model is going to go out there still um, referring to the data I obtained from the WhatsApp group. It's going to tell me all the things that I will need to um, show up that. Now, I have been prompting it only on Excel. I could also prompt it on Tableau because somewhere there they be giving me answers on Tableau also. I could say, Braxy, what Excel formula functions and formula will I use for the matrix matrices required in this data and again I'm gonna go 
out there or this model is going to go out here to give me all the possible formula and function. So that will be the count A. Where will I need the count A and an average function and all of that. I need a view lookup and a view lookup and all of that. And so I want to access more one function. So if I want What TCL and metrics I need? There you go, it's gonna get me TCL and matrices. I need to visualize that data I collected from WASA from WASA group. And the beautiful thing is it's going to um, teach me even the ones I don't know. And that's the first part of how you use um, the Bing for data analytics. Now I want to use it for something else. I want to use it to generate sample data to um, build upon my um, experience. I don't have data and I am looking for it to get a particular kind of data. So I come to Bing and I say, give me a sample HRO data set with at least 10 data points. So I go there and the Bing AI would go to its memory, to its um, um, trained data and extract a sample data set for me and the beautiful part is it would arrange it in a tabular form to give me a beautiful uh, um, table that contains the required number of data sets I have prompted. Now to use this AI you need to be able to create specific prompts in another video, I will teach you how to do prompt engineering. Prompt engineering is the art and science of prompting AI models for specific um, responses. And the critical part of this data it has provided for you is that it allows you to copy it. You can copy this straight into Excel and begin to work with it. And the, the third thing I will teach you do with Bing is I have a data set somewhere there. I actually don't know how to uh, analyze it. I don't know where to start from. I could ask Bing for help. I go to Excel. I go to Excel. I copy the data. I come back to Bing and I paste the data and I say suggest. Ask it to suggest possible matrices. It can only take 400 um, prompts, so I need to take out some of the prompt. So I could come back and say suggest possible matrices for this data. And just like that, it will get into it and itself and suggest for me what I would need. It's saying that I would need an employee turnover rate, I would need an employee um, tenor, I would need performance distribution, I would need salary distribution. I want to ask it, give me a um, formula, a TL, TCL formula, tablet question language um, function for the matrices mentioned. Remember it's a conversational AI model. So you discuss with it as though you were discussing with a human being just sitting beside you. Now it's saying that, oh, that they cannot do that. There's something else you could do. It's okay. It, it's, 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 even if it says sorry, it's going to give me some suggestions I could use. It's okay. Um, 